so this is going to be the last New Year's Eve slash Christmas look I'll do this year probably um, just specifically for New Year's um, but I really like this one because it has a ton of glitter but I still feel like it's not overdone um, in my book at least and I did add a little bit of a half lash out in the outer corner just to give it a little bit of a flirty winged out look so hopefully you enjoy um, if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching so I already have one eye done what I did first was I added an eyelid primer and then I put a little bit of a skin tone primer over that just to cancel out any veining. Now I'm going to grab a kind of flat brush and I'm going to take a pale pink shadow and I'm going to put that right on the inner corner and then also right under the brow. Now I'm going to grab a blending brush, take a touch of a kind of hot pink matte shadow, and then I'm going to blend this in the crease. I don't want the crease to be super pink, I just want something for the purples to blend out to. So I'm going to put that a little bit heavy in the crease, just right here, and then I'm going to blend it up. I'm going to go in a little bit with that pale pink and then just meet those together. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild, this is the Petal Pusher, yeah, Petal Pusher, and I'm first going to grab uh, this sh really shimmery shade right here, and again I'm going to go back in with my flat brush. Um, this look is really easy because I'm really only using... Um, these three brushes so that's cool but I'm gonna take my flat brush and go into that shimmery pink and then I'm going to place that right on the inner third of the lid I'm gonna so I'm putting that all in the inner third and then on the outer third I'm going to put this color here I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to grab a single eye shadow. This is called Skinny Dip by NYX and it's a cool toned purple color and I'm going to put that on my blending brush, just the tip at first and then I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the crease and also pack that a little bit in the outer corner. Now to give my crease that really nice warm shade that's peeking out, I'm going to take a little bit of a brand new eyeshadow I just got that I'm super excited about. Um, it's called Bitten by Makeup Geek. It's more of a whiny purple, so I'm just going to take a touch of that and then blend that in the crease. So with that darker shade, just as much as you want and to get the intensity that you want. Now just to make sure that kind of blue toned eyeshadow color is still there, I'm going to go in with a little bit darker of a color. This is Maroon Berry by um, Coastal Scents. It has a little bit of glitter in it just because um, I was using this to blend after I used the brush on the glitter. But I'm just going to take this and it's the same tone as the NYX one, it's just a little bit deeper and I'm going to just pack this right on the outer corner. And I'm gonna just alternate between the NYX one and the Coastal Sense one and blend them together. Now to finish up the upper lid eyeshadow portion, I'm going to go into my brand new Revealed 2 palette, which I've been testing out and I have um, pretty much liked it. I'm going to go in with this really deep shade right here with a lot of sparkle. You don't really see the sparkle, but I figured it would tie it all in together. And I'm going to take that on a really teeny brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going to kind of place it on the outer corner. And then also drag that right down below the lash line. 
just so oh, just so that outer corner is really connected nicely and then I'm going to blend it inwards and then I'm gonna go back in with this shade along the lower lash line and then right on the inner corner I'm gonna go back in with that shimmery purple all with the same brush I'm just wiping it off in between okay now so for the fun part we're gonna pop on some glitter so what I'm doing is I'm taking two colors of glitter I'm putting the lighter purple on the inner corner and I put the darker purple on the outer corner and it gives a really pretty effect so what I'm doing is I'm first grabbing my e.l.f. glitter glue as always I swear by this stuff and I'm just popping a little bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm taking my first brush and just packing or gently patting that just on the inner portion of the la uh, of the lid and um, then we'll stick on the one type of glitter which will be kind of the iridescent pink so I'm just using the same brush and just make sure you tap it off so no glitter falls down and then I'm just packing that over the lid as much as you want I'm going to stop right about where the shadows start to get a little darker. So now I'm going to take another brush and go in with the glitter glue one more time. And I'm going to pat this on the outer portion going all the way over to where we got that black shadow going on. And then I'm putting a tiny more glitter glue right over the pink part just to blend it a little bit. And then I'll use the same brush to pick up the other glitter. This one's a little bit more fine, but a little bit darker of a color, so it gives kind of a cool effect with the two different kinds of glitter. And then I'm just putting that over. And then blend it in a little bit. And I am getting a lot of fallout just because I'm being kind of messy, but um, don't worry because we do have a little bit of that powder down there. And then worst comes to worst, you can use a little bit of tape just to pick up any excess glitter. So I really think that's really pretty. This will be awesome for a New Year's look. And then another trick I like to do for when I'm wearing glitter is I'll tilt my head to the side. I probably could have done this before I swept away um, the powder, but I'll just gently sweep over this to knock off any glitters that didn't get stuck to any glue and then I shouldn't have any glitter fallout throughout the day. Okay, so now what I'm going to do just to finish up the face is I'm going to take some mascara first. And I'm just going to pop that on my lashes. So now I'm going to grab a pair of lashes. These are kind of um, sparse and you can kind of tell they're shorter here and then it really starts to be long there. So I'm going to cut them down so that I pretty much only have that left. And I just stuck them on the outer corner and it gives a very nice flick effect. And they're going to be extremely comfortable if you're at a party or if you're going to be out really late for New Year's. I love these because I love cutting any lash in half because it just makes them so much more comfortable, especially if you don't wear lashes often. So I'm going to cut those down and pop them on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that those are popped on, you can kind of see how nicely it adds a little touch of kind of glam and lash by just adding the half lashes there. So now just to finish the face, I'm gonna double check that any glitter I can sweep away is swept away. And I want just a little bit more coverage. I am wearing um, a medium coverage foundation right now, but just to get a little bit more, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Bare Minerals foundation in Fairly Light and just get a teeny bit of that powder in the cap and then I'm just gonna blend a little bit of that right under my eyes over my chin and this powder has a really beautiful glow so you can even use it as a 
very subtle highlight. Okay, so I already did a little bit of bronzer. I used my Holy Grail bronzer that you cannot get anymore. So that is the Holy Grail Pasty Girl bronzer. Um, it's my Victoria's Secret um, VS in Paradise one. They discontinued all their makeup, so you can't get it anymore. But, ooh, we just got really blue all of a sudden. Okay, so for a little bit of blush, it can be kind of tricky to get a good blush um, when you're wearing such bright tones because I don't want to do too much and make my look, face look too pink. So what I'm going to use is, it's not really a blush you can get anymore. Um, I'll have to look up what this blush's name is and I'll see if it's in the full range, but it's always my go-to blush if I need to just have a little bit of life in my face but not anything too colorful. And it's this one here. It's from the Tarte Magnificent palette. Um, it's just very, very muted, and I'm just taking a little bit of that on a very fluffy brush because I just want this to be very muted. Just a little bit of color, and we're going to use highlighter next. It doesn't look like too much color, but I look a little bit more alive now. I'm going to take a little bit of my Stila highlighter. This is in the Kitchen Duo, and I'm going to take the lighter side, and maybe a little bit of the other side too, and then just put this kind of everywhere. And another little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this Victoria's Secret eyeshadow. Again, you can't get it anymore, but it is called Makeout. Um, these are kind of like the L'Oreal Infallibles, just not as pigmented. Um, they're just kind of shimmery and sparkly, so I'm just going to grab a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to pat that over the cheekbone. You can use any kind of shimmery champagne eyeshadow and do this, but it does add a little bit of glitter and I know a lot of people don't like glitter on their um, face, so it's kind of up to you. But it's just a very dewy look with glitter and I think it's really pretty. And then for lips, I'm thinking of something kind of muted and pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, Revlon's Cream Lipstick in Primrose. This is like a pink, but I feel like it's kind of almost a lavender pink, so it goes really well with purples. I want to go a little bit paler though, so I'm going to use this guy, but I'm going to start with a lip liner just because I feel like the lip always comes out a lot better when I do. So I'm going to grab... Pale Pink, I think it's called Pale Pink, yeah. Pale Pink by NYX. This is the one that best suits my lip color because this is literally my natural lip color right here. That's, that's no foundation on there, so I'm gonna line those a little bit and then I'm just going to pop this on. And then this makeup look is complete. If you feel like you needed a little bit more blush, you can go ahead and do that, but I think in person it looks pretty good. I feel like on camera my complexion is coming out really badly, so sorry about the lighting. It literally got really dark, but I'm filming in natural light and it's winter, so what can you do? But hopefully you enjoyed the look. I really encourage you to play with glitter, and it's a great time to do it for New Year's, so um, be sure to have a designated driver if you need one, and just be safe on the holiday. Um, watch out for drunk drivers and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.